So after I got it all set to using the center bore, um, and I spun it up and I, you know, shaved this edge here a bit and just cut into the face of the flywheel here just a little bit as well. As I was spinning it and watching it, I found that this inside ring here is a surface I cannot machine and it was wobbling. So I thought, how am I going to set up to that? So what I thought I would do is take the electronic edge finder and in each of these surfaces, you can't see where the tip goes, but you'll see that that the uh, that the light lights up just on the inside, and where that is is right here and there. It's a surface I can't touch, and so if it's wobbling there, I'm not going to be able to correct that. So what I thought I would do is use this edge finder and recenter the wheel, so that just touching that inside surface. Uh, in between each of the spokes, like that, just it comes on, you can see the light come on. I do that between each of them. And then what I found, um, how far out around this was, because this was true to the center before, is actually, there's zero there, is actually about 35 thou, maybe 38 thou, or 36 thou, something like that. Um, that I was that the center the hole is out of the centric so um, I think the struggle now is, is to make sure optically this looks right and then I will make everything I'll zero from this point struggle of course is going to be is redoing that hole um, that's going to be a struggle especially with a drill bit because it's going to want to try to find its own center so I may mill or, excuse, cut everything or turn everything to get center from where I'm at now. And I may take that over to the mill, find uh, the right center from these edges, and uh, rebore that hole using a mill as opposed to drilling it with the lathe. So that's a little different approach that I've taken for this.